another exciting day here in sunny South Florida where it's cloudy at the moment. Leaving my complex, I'm on the phone filming and the gentleman's walking towards me. He's on the phone walking. This could be a problem one of these days. Remember that video that showed somebody in a mall on the cell phone and they just walked into the fountain and fell over? I'm sure that kind of thing happens a lot. Anyway, let's turn the radio on and see what we get. Raise and a touch screen and it will bust the table. Aww, How we've got somebody out? talking. Let's change the channel, the station. Okay, that can't be copywritten, can it? Hey, we got a song I don't know, I think. Better turn it off so I don't get copywritten. I'll turn it on in another second or two and see if I recognize it. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> oh, of course. I recognize it now. I don't know if I, re I... I think I know why I don't remember the very opening. And that's because such a big deal was made out of this person. And it's all because of how she looks. If you listen to what she sounds like, it's not particularly different or earth-shaking. But, you know, an ugly girl had to do something different to get noticed. And so she did, over and over and over and over. I remember when we were first learning her name, people were comparing her to Madonna because she changed looks a lot. And it's like, hmm, can changing looks a lot be copywritten? Can changing looks a lot be derivative? But of course, Madonna said it was. So, you know, she's never been wrong. So there you go. So, we've got the music student who comes to the big city. I think she was born in a big city. I don't know. And dresses up in a meat suit and gets carried around in an egg so that's her birth, bringing her light to the masses, bringing her talent to the forefront. And then on Saturday Night Live, the truth comes out. One of these days, she's just going to be an old person who used to be a star, just like all the rest of us who are trying to be the stars of our own movies. But some people never want to be the star. It's interesting. I was thinking about it this morning. Somebody died. So it came to mind that the movies end with the death. Or they don't end with the death, right? And people are trying to avoid death in real life there aren't any lives that haven't ended in death. Unless you want to count Enoch and Moses and Elijah. But anyway, so this person comes on the radio, sounds kind of normal, looks kind of weird, changes her look over and over and over and over and over, earns some respect, her musicianship and is saddled with a name that is unfortunate but hey it worked for her so good for her let's see what else we've got on the radio <laughs> that commercial creeps me out. <laughs> I think it was two days ago. We're talking about somebody who has something wrong with them. 
maybe Alzheimer's. They get mad inexplicably, outbursts of anger, verbal abuse for no reason, and they forget everything. So maybe it's Alzheimer's. Who knows what it is, right? So it used to be that you couldn't diagnose Alzheimer's until the person was dead, and the scientists could look at the brain and see if they had had Alzheimer's. Which people called old called old timers. <laughs> now, I guess there's another diagnostic tool because they want you. They, the, the, the doctors, the big pharma, whatever. They want you to get tested for Alzheimer's. And so that particular commercial starts out by saying, "Oh, it's normal to forget things, but if you're forgetting things." You better get in here quick, or you're gonna die. That, that's a little dramatic. But it's like, if there's no treatment, why do I wanna know I have the disease? If there's something I can do to keep from getting it, okay, let me try to do that. If there's something I can do once I know I have it, okay, then I need to know. But if there's no treatment, why do I wanna torture myself with that knowledge? So the real life example of this person who just inexplicably gets angry and starts screaming at people, even if you just say good morning, that might happen. If she doesn't have any treatment options, why do I want to bring her to that knowledge any quicker than she's gonna get to it herself? She already knows she's forgetting stuff. What, am, what, what does she need to know she has Alzheimer's if there's nothing you can do to fix it? Now, I don't know. Maybe there's something you can do to fix it. But I don't know what it is. Anyway, so there we go. There's turning the radio on twice. <laughs> once is a commercial. And once is a music star. All right, everybody. See you next time.